All right, <laughs> welcome to Smokey's UK Rap Files. I believe is where Loyal would fall under his UK yeah, rapper. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is going to be Loyal Carner featuring that Lang Tang, Georgia Smith. This is called Loose Ends. My boy Cook is joining us on another one. Say what's up to the people, my boy. It was hot and trips. So you did? Yeah. So we are here to check this out. If there's more loyal, is it loyal? Like the word loyal just spelled different? Nah, it's more like loyal. Loyal. Yeah. Okay. All right. So more loyal on the channel. If there's more anybody from the UK rap scene you would like me to check out, please put them in the comment section. You guys are really outside of just the stuff that we do. You guys really help me find like these new artists and these people that we are actually checking out. That being said, please hit the like and subscribe. Patreon is in the description box. And let's get into this one and see what loyal has for us today. I can't believe. Well, I'm happy he has the fucking feature. But goddamn. How nobody shot the club up on this bird yet? I don't know. Well, after Stormzy, she had any public things. Anyway. Fuck do you mean after Stormzy? Any big popular things? Because now you changed my perception. Because I thought Drake was shitting on Maverick when he said, you fucking with the nigga doing the same thing I do, just not as, like, as popping. That fits Maverick to a T. Mm. But then if it's Stormzy, that still fits fucking Stormzy to the T. Because Stormzy's here. Drake is here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, did George, did Stormzy pull fucking Georgia off going, of Drake? They were going out for ages. Stormzy and Georgia. For ages. <laughs> Stormzy didn't. Stormzy didn't shoot the club up on Maya nor fucking Georgia. Oh wait, actually no, you're right. It's Maya. May I just fucked that up? I'm oh, sorry. Okay. It's I'm called Maya Jama. <laughs> That's what I'm like. What? Fuck sick. Oh so, no, I just an idiot on camera. Oh well, it's nah, 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 nah. it's gonna be know, hilarious. Man, it's what it should be. We're gonna be sitting there like, look at this fucking idiot. Like, what's he doing? Nah, blood. Because I was like, Stormzy got that bitch too. Mm. I hate all you niggas. Nah, nah, Stop nah, dating nah, my nah, bird. Nah. <laughs> when the going is tough, I wait till it falls on deaf ears. He'll say, without the penalty. So love, my take is I wish there was a better way. I, I got a lot of love, a lot of loose ends, a lot of people that I wish I knew then. Friends beckon every second you spend, when you went in the pen, every letter you send. I, I got a lot of love, a lot of loose ends, a lot of people that I wish I knew then. Friends beckon every second you spend, when you went in the pen, every letter you send. All right, so this sounds like some shit they did together, cause those harmonies, like, there's there's only two options to this, really three, but like the two I really see are, he knows the producer who made this beat initially, and that producer was working with Georgia. She laid what she had laid, and just never came back to it. And then obviously you get a rapper, you let us get a hold of some shit like that. Yeah, we can put sure. that shit on top. So that's how it sounds in one way, but then the other way because it sounds so cohesive. I feel like they've done the session together. It sounds like they worked on how to pattern this song from beginning to end together. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. For, like, a long time, Loyal has been, like, what, r l <coughs> fucking hell. Literally right up there in the rap game. Like, right up there in the UK rap scene. Um, so if they met and did it together, I mean... It, it would, it would be sense. standard. It would make sense, exactly. Okay. Cause I'm just like it's either like he got his hands on the shit like and she has vocals just placed on it and we just work around that or like those harmonies that and he's just like every second you spin I'm like you motherfucker why didn't you shoot the clap up <laughs> but nah this is fucking fire I like this I got a lot of love a lot of loose ends a lot of people that I wish I knew then. Friends beckon every second you spend when you went in the pen every Aye. letter. Yo, I've been listening Aye. to dreamy days. I in disarray. I realize it's everybody else is still astray. I feel ashamed, I know there ain't no saving away. They went astray, I went Australia. So what I'm supposed to say to them, I when all this love's out of range, everything around me changed. I'm supposed to say the same. Turn down these free drinks, I couldn't even name and that. Like all this money gives a fucking up my brain. I've been going insane. Shell full of family remains, broken heart is seeking none of them again. I I pull the glass, stick my head out in the rain, try and find another person I can blame. Sat up on this plane, I right. and yo, I'm freaking up. We don't crash because every night I shiver at the side when we go back. Because every night could be my last, and yeah, I know that. So I crack a smile for it goes black. Trust. 
I like how with just a bass, a piano, and some other fucking sound I can't really name right now, mm. this motherfucker has found a way to take traditionalist boom bap, because that's just a standard drum kit, boom bap, boom, boom bap. That's all this beat is. Yeah. But it feels so fucking refreshing and not like... And no disrespect, but like not like when the four hours <clears> do <throat> fucking boom bat or like most fucking yeah for sure. Uh, Pro Green is his name. Yeah, Professor Green. Yeah, yeah. Like their shit sounds very formulaic in like early two thousands boom bat, but this sounds like damn, cuz I rap on this. Like this is the type of shit like when niggas be like, oh, you don't want to do no boom bat? No, cuz because it don't sound like this. Trust me, man. He's got like, like a, a brethren called Tom Mesh, who's like also like a legend in the mu- uh, UK music scene, and um. Yeah, they like work a lot together on beats and stuff, but he's always just had like phenomenal beat choice, to be honest. Yeah, that, that's really what's sticking out with this. It's just like, God damn it, it's so smooth. My ass and you run low that, so I crack a smile for it goes black. Trust. I wish you'd been up when my dad had died. I, I wish you'd been up when my mother cried. I, I wish you'd been up in the dragon night to see my side. Look me in my eyes when I was paralyzed. And tell me everything's alright and push it to the side. It's just a sacrifice. At times I told a bag of lies, but not a pack of lies. But yours told a couple ones, of course. It was true, you only knew me from the dramatized. I feel an agonizing risk, cause in a thousand islands, this is where I really wanna be when we were cracking wise. Cause it was black and white, literally black and white. White from my mother and my father was the blackest sky. Skies, I, I can see it's true. I, I see my mother. That actually, cause I don't know what that world's like. But to make that dichotomy and like uh, analysis where he's like, it truly is black and white, where my mother was the whiter side and my dad was black as nice guy. Like, what the fuck does that feel like as a light skinned you? Not particularly just asking you, but just like me thinking out loud. Like, you wake up and your dad is Wesley Snipes black. Your mom is motherfucking pure snow white white. And then you come out like a cream mocha. And then you just be looking at your daddy because how the world perceives you is how we would perceive your father. You don't get access to how we perceive your mother. So, like, what does that fucking space feel like? That's got to be a mad existence, cuz. I wouldn't even say, though, that, like, you perceived, like, your dad either. Like, for example, like, if I was to go into, like, a lot of, like, African communities or, like, a lot of, like, black circles or whatever, like... I'm then no longer like a black you. I would be like the mixed ratio or like the light eight, which is always something different. I just, to be honest, is a weird one. There's a whole thing to explore there, but I really like the fact that he has explored the concept a little bit. But I don't know. Like it's a weird one. Like not a lot of people can like contemplate it. I suppose like if I was to have a youth with a black woman, then like they would be black. Or if I was to have a youth with a white person, then they would be white. So, like, it's weird. You're just, like, that weird sort of in-between that never feels like one side or the other. Strange, but it's cool as well because it, like, makes you very powerful in ways, like, unable to transcend both. But then in terms of, like, acceptance and feeling, it's a strange place to be. Also, when I was saying what I was saying, like, you're perceived like your father, I was talking terms. I'm I'm from America because I'm talking about how the police look at you. (laughs) You don't get no mixed race. You fucking... (laughs) Like, oh, difference, but you are totally right. Like, fucking in America, like, you are a, you're the mixed kid. You're not, like, just a black kid, even though, like, like I say, how the police look at us, you're a black guy, and you will have the perception of your black father. Exactly. Versus, like you said, in African communities, like, in the black community, like, when we say, like, black community, like, America or over here, fucking, we make that delineation that, oh, you are a mixed race child, and then you are treated as such. Like, and then... I got to give him a shout because fucking, I hate when fucking Logic does this shit in his music. Yeah, for I'd sure. I'd be like, my nigga, it's not that deep. I'm not trying to hear that. 
But then when he says it, I'm like, ah, you made me think for a moment, my brother. <laughs> it's because logic's so white passing, though, isn't it? Like, I don't the, really care that, about that, though. Like, though. that's one of those things. It just always like, sounds like he's whining. Like, oh, it's so tough being yeah, light-skinned. Yeah, and I'm just like, yeah. light-skinned in America is quite simple, blood. Like, it's quite simple. Especially, like, it's got to be different for you because you have access to fucking larger and more connected African communities where we have those, but they're not as connected and they're not as large in America. So where he grew up, like, I don't know. I, obviously, I'm also speaking up from a place of ignorance. I'm not a light-skinned you, nor did I fucking grow up with logic. But I'm just like, I always feel like he's bitching. Like, and I'm just like, it's not that tough cuss. But then, like, I have conversations with you, which is like hearing uh, loyal. I'm just like, maybe it is tough outside for you niggas. I mean, it's tough, but, like, you just, like, you don't need to bring it up constantly. That's the issue with logic. Like, he'll be like, not many people actually know that I'm black. And you're like, fuck's sake, like, again? Like, exactly. you, know, you know what I mean? Versus, like, this is in the middle of a song that's not even being particularly to do with that. It's to do with, like, loose ends and, like, him trying to tie them up. And, yeah. like, that's one of the things he wants to tie up in terms of his perspective or, like, understanding or, like, or becoming a man. Just self-identity. Like, exactly. just how do I look at myself and how the world sees me and, like... Like, How do I take these pieces of these things and, and, like you said, take these loose ends and tie them up? Which is very different because, like, you know, if I was to sit there and be like, but, but by the way, um, so just just so you know, I'm also mixed race. And <laughs> in my time, I have faced a lot of pain and suffering because nobody understands who I am. Then you'd be like, fuck yeah, off, you're again. That's it. I'm, and that's probably why I didn't like, that's exactly how Jay Cole approaches, like, oh, my daddy issues. I'm like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Listen. I don't give a fuck about your daddy issues. But tangent over, I'm sorry. It just it really made me think about some shit and hey, you know how it goes over here. But uh yeah, alright. Let's let's rewind a little bit because this verse was called so far. But not a pack of lies with yours Told a couple ones of course It was true you only knew me from the dramatised I feel an agonising risk Cause in a thousand island This is where I really want to be When we were cracking wise Cause it was black and white Literally black and white White from my mother and my father Was the blackest skies Skies, I, I can see this through I, I see my mother up in you Shit, I think my dad would see it too Yeah, I just wish he knew I, Can I just get like five? Five songs from these two. Trust me, bro. Bitch, sing the hook and let my nigga rhyme. Stop playing. Because this shit is class. Cold and I don't like her with a lot of rappers. Obviously. You know why. But still. Uh, this is some shit I'm just like. Love, a lot of loose sounds. A lot of people that I wish I knew then. This live blood? And every second you spend. Cold and I would pay good money to see this nigga. I got a lot of love, a lot of loose sounds. A lot of people that I wish right. I knew and Fuck. Friends beckon every second you spend When you wet in the pen Every letter you spend Imagine all the friends you see most Each one you're pegging up waves Dependent on you putting pen to the page Aye. And so you break it down Checking they're paid Another day you're heartbreaking You were sent to the stage You feel that same rage Watch the crowd, watch the stage thinking Shit, rather in the crowd with your mates drinking Misbehaviours, catch another dame winking You feel ashamed, guzzled Jaegers Your brain's sinking You think it's deep, don't think it's depression A misspent adolescence But all this time, all this time Times of the essence You would never learn from your lessons You're stuck in that same quintessence Heartbreak, one in the same Days change but you're stuck in a game It's like she's telling you you're young enough to be your uni Somehow the one who sees through me I'm I hate you bitches the most The motherfuckers that see me for the man I could be The man I am today And then also can speak to me in a way It's like hey you, you know you could do this. Yeah, you're like, watch Don't fucking tell me how I could be better right now. <laughs> that shit is terrible. Y'all are the worst. And then when y'all be fine, like, fuck, she's fine, she's intelligent, and she's telling me how I could be a better man. You, One of the most dangerous things walking the earth right now is a female that can see you as the man that you are today, the man you could be, and she's happy with both versions. Oh. Trust me. The worst. The worst. Oh, it's terrible. All right, so. That's the end of this one. Uh, Loyal Carner, shout out to you, my guy. You did not waste a single bar or a fucking Georgia fucking feature. So respect for that. Loose Ends is a fire fucking record. Like, God damn it. We're going to have to do some more Loyal after this. But um, I would say, as far as the record goes, 
Yeah, I'm, I could put this up there in like nine territory. Just from how well it's constructed, everything works well together. It's lyrically well written. There's some very good, thoughtful pieces in this. I can say it's a nine, easy. Uh, what about you? What are you saying for this one? To be honest, I would also say like a nine between eight point five and nine, like around that sort of region. Like solid, good bars, great discussion. It doesn't like it ev- like ever extenuate too much or whatever. It feels like chill. Like, yeah, paints a picture of what he needs to do. Solid, yeah. No. All right. Well, that's going to be it for me on this one. If there's more lawyer you want me to hear, more Georgia, you know I'm happy to do that one. Uh, any UK rappers you want me to check out, please put them in the comment section. Thank you to every person that gets to the end of this video. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Please hit that like and subscribe if you have not already. It really helps the brother out in the algorithm, and we are trying to grow the channel actively. The Patreon is in the description box, and that's going to be it for us on this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. Yes, yes.